During the age of dinosaurs, the top predators of Australia were Megaraptorids. One of these Megaraptorids stalked the floodplains of central Queensland 95 million years ago. This ambush predator was Australovenator wintonensis. Today, the original specimen of this dinosaur has been nicknamed Banjo. With its skeleton 30% complete, Australovenator represents Australia's most complete carnivorous dinosaur. Measuring up to 6 metres long from nose to tail, it sported formidable arms and claws to hug its prey to death. Australovenator wintonensis means Winton's Southern Hunter, and it certainly lived down under at a time when Australia was further south than it is today. It most likely hunted both on the floodplains and inside the temperate conifer forests of the Winton region. So what was it hunting? Well, in the Winton formation, Megaraptorid teeth are commonly found near the bones of titanosaurs. Juvenile titanosaurs were certainly possible prey, but adult titanosaurs were too large for Australovenator to actively hunt. After all, it was only a medium-sized predator, standing two meters tall at the hips. Its medium size, combined with its slender jaw and small teeth, meant it could only have been suitable for hunting smaller dinosaurs such as ornithopods and solurosaurs. In fact, one of these hunts is possibly frozen in time at the Dinosaur Stampede National Monument. This track site tells the story of ornithopods and solurosaurs scattering in all directions, possibly in response to a theropod predator. These theropod tracks closely match Australovenator tracks created by researchers using a 3D printed foot. For now, however, they can only be confirmed as theropod tracks, but Further studies may be able to confidently assign the tracks to Australovenator. But don't go thinking Australovenator was a pursuit hunter like a cheetah. The bones of its legs and feet were too short to sprint for long periods of time. Instead, they were adapted for agility and short bursts of speed, meaning that Australovenator almost certainly ambushed its prey. First, it stalked its prey until it was close enough to run them down. Then once within reach, its prey got a hug. Australovenator had long arms, and its fingers and claws could extend further than any dinosaur that has ever lived. In contrast, its jaws were relatively weak. So clearly it was specialized for capturing and holding struggling prey close to its chest, so that they could be disemboweled by its jaws. In 2020, a second Megaraptorid skeleton was found in the Winton Formation. Now this could either be a new species of Megaraptorid or a larger specimen of Australovenator wintonensis, which in itself could be evidence that the individuals of this species varied in size. Now building on that idea, there is also possible evidence of violent competition between Australovenator individuals. Banjo's largest toe, the, the second one, has an injury caused by repetitive impacts. This type of injury bears a striking resemblance to those found in the second toe of modern cassowaries, which is also the largest and is used to wound in both defense and in competition with members of its own species. So perhaps Australovenator also kicked its fellow dinosaurs in both defense and in competition with members of its own species. Speaking of Banjo, it is unknown why his bones were discovered interspersed with the bones of Matilda, a Diamantinosaurus. All we do know is that the fossil site was once a billabong. In a 2009 ABC article, Queensland paleontologist Dr. Scott Hucknall suggested that the cause of death for both animals was most likely linked. However, he admitted, whether Banjo was trying to eat Matilda's carcass or they both got stuck in the mud together we really don't know. Given that Banjo weighed between 300 to 400 kilos, getting stuck in the mud wouldn't be surprising. 95 million years later, their bones were found intertwined together near the town of Winton. In 2006, they were dug out of a claystone rock layer between two sandstone layers in the Winton formation. Since they were buried in billabong sediments, they were given nicknames referring to the classic Australian billabong song waltzing Matilda. 
So Matilda was named after the song and Banjo was named after the songwriter, Banjo Patterson. Since publication in 2009, other bones have been found at the same fossil site and referred to Australovenator. We can thank the Winton Billabong for providing a more detailed picture of Australia's mega raptorid, the predator that hugged other dinosaurs to death. There you have it, Australovenator. So many people kept requesting this dinosaur in the comment sections of our videos. So I hope you're happy and let me know if you enjoy this video. Do you have any questions about Australovenator? Let us know in the comments below. Claw at the like button, hit subscribe, and remember to support us on Patreon, especially if you want to vote on which video we make next. Thanks folks, we'll see you next time.